Das, there's plenty of – you can roll out as many stats as you like in cricket. Uh, 34 centuries, 58 half centuries, 19 centuries in one-day international, 63 half centuries. Bowling figures of two for five, if you don't mind. But we heard in there the best one that I reckon you could ever have is when you're the highest run scorer ever in test cricket, only to have your record broken – and then to break the record again. <laughs> so he went from 375, Matty Hayden made 380, and then, of course, the great man Brian Lara, 400 not out. Brian, welcome to Melbourne. Welcome to Triple M's Hot Breakfast. Thank you very much for having me. When you listen to that, uh, it must bring back <laughs> some memories. I love that one, Brian Lara, six into the Sir Vivian yeah. Richard stand. <laughs> I like the single, you know, the most significant single. <laughs> <laughs> and I read uh, with interest today that you've been generous enough. Uh, I mean, we speak about the 400... But you also made 500 in an innings. Can you tell us a little bit about that? And people are going to be able to go to the Melbourne Museum at the MCG and see the bats that you scored all those runs with, I believe. Yeah, well, well um, first of all, I got dropped when I was 18 in that oh. innings. And uh, I think everyone forgot as well. I got bowled with a no ball. And I remember taking a single and going to the non-strikers end and telling the umpire because I was in a pretty good run where I had about five or six centuries straight. I said, I think it's come to an end. I think, you know, the form is... Is gone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, a couple of days later, you know what happened. 480 <laughs> runs later. What about the poor team? They were two for 500. <laughs> <laughs>